Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back doing a video called the actual data source versus the data on a website. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that people do not look at the actual data and they just assume that because something is on a website, even if it's a legit website, which this is, I've used it before, it doesn't mean that the data is correct and that the person who is creating the charts is not being deceptive and the reason I'm saying this is because <sighs> I was having a conversation with some gal named Helen Yu and she brought up a uh, chart that pointed out that at the end of 2020 the debt to GDP for Donald Trump was 134.24 I pointed out to her that that chart was misleading and I gave, her, I gave her two sources that basically disagree with what she has, okay? Now, again, like I said, her source is not, is not the problem because here's her source. The problem is with the individual, this is the source, Statista. I used them before, but I did learn something new that you got to be careful who the person is that's creating the chart. So anyway, here's the chart. As you can see, it says 134.24, which is what she used. She took a screenshot. I don't blame her. But this is what I tried to educate people. Look at the sources. If you have access to the source, look at the data. Most of the time, it just takes basic math to figure out if it's correct or not. Okay, so the two sources that I gave her, one was the was FREDS or the Federal Reserve Economic Database, or FRED for short. Okay, and I'm using two of them because one uses the average and one and one gives you the annual. Now there's a difference because the average of four quarters doesn't necessarily equal what the number is at the end of a particular year. In this case, uh, we're looking at 2020. So if we look at the percent of GDP annually, now this is not seasonally adjusted. And you'll see that there's a little slight difference from Fred and the White House or the uh, uh, OMB, the Office of Budget and, and, and Management. So let's take a look at 2020. At 2020, the annual, the annual debt versus the GDP as a percent was 127.739.29, whereas he's got 134.24. Now, you might be saying, okay, 127... 0.7 versus 134 is not a big number, and I would agree with you. My problem that I have is this individual is being deceptive. Okay, he's giving you a chart and saying that it's the annual, okay, but it's not. Okay, so let's take a look. Where did he get the 134 from? In this particular uh, chart, you can change from annual to average. And I'll show you where he got those numbers from. If you go over, over here and you change this to quarterly, okay, you'll notice that in the, the uh, number that he's using, the 134, it's, again, slightly different. Things get updated. I'm not even sure if he's using this website. You can see that the 134 basically comes from the second quarter of 2020. Okay, let's see. What else did he use? Uh, 108 for 2019. Did he get 108? Uh, bring it down here, 2019, 2019, 105, 106. Uh, no idea where he got that from. Okay. He didn't get it from the 
from the quarterly. So now let's change this to, we're gonna average out annually. Okay, go back over here. And as we can see 2020, it says 124.15977. Uh, so you got a, a, a three point difference. But again, this is the average. The average does not mean that you can't change once you get a finalized number, which is which is what this number, this chart does here. This does not take the average. This takes the actual uh, debt and GDP at the end of 2020. And you see 127. So you're looking at a three point difference. So here we have 124, but now let's look at 2019. It's 105. So again, I have no clue where he got the 108 from. I honestly don't know. <laughs> because even, even this doesn't jive. It, it doesn't jive when you do the annual average. And it doesn't jive when you do the quarterly. Let me try semi-annual. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't take a look at that. No, I, I can't get no, I can't get 108. All right, so let's take a look at another source that I use, which is from the White House, the OMB. And here you can see this is table seven. If you go to Google and you type in WH historical budget data, you'll come up to a page. Matter of fact, let me show you. I always like to show what I'm using. Uh, my browser already has it up here. You go to here and you'll see Office of Management and Budget. I, I usually get that wrong. And historical tables and I use table number 7.1, federal debt at the end of, of 1940 to 2027. So you see where I'm getting my information from. And I apologize, I was on the wrong screen, but this is where I get my data from. Historical tables, the Office of Management and Budget, it's from the White House, and I use table 7.1. Uh, let me go back to my spreadsheet. Okay, so you see right there. If we look at the, the, the data, you can see 2020, they have 128.4, 107, 105, and 127. Again, I'm not too worried about the one point difference. Uh, because his chart is way more than just one point. So, again, I, I, I'm not worried about that. Let me see, 2018, he's got 107. No. So anyway, I've shown you two different sources, Federal Reserve of St. Louis and the Office of Budget and Management from the White House. And you can see that his, his numbers don't correspond to any of those two databases. So, um, but we did learn something. We learned that 2020, what he is really using for the 134 is the quarterly. Even though it's slightly off by about six tenths of a percent. Uh, it's still 134. So that is being either purposely uh, deceptive or the individual doesn't know what they're doing. And I was trying to explain to the lady that she needs to look at the raw data and, 
and see if it's correct. So she basically dismissed the data from the White House. She dismissed the data from um, from Fred. Same thing with all these people. When you give them the actual sources, they're in denial. And I'm sorry, denial is not a river in Egypt. So I, I just wanted to show you how you have to be careful. Just because you see something from an individual and a credible website, which I would say that this site is credible, you still should look at the data to make sure that it hasn't changed because data is always changing. So anyway, I think that's it. I just wanted to show this. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year as we come into 2023. Thank you very much.